Believe it or not, today's cold temperatures weren't the lowest recorded. That record was set back in 1889 when the temperatures here along the coast dropped to one below zero. Civil defense officials say today's low of 7 degrees was the fifth time in 110 years that the temperature has dropped so low. The wind chill factor today registered at 9 below zero. The weather service tells us that all outside activity should be curtailed in, in, unless it's considered essential. Guy says luckily there's been no rain to cause problems with icy roads. Most area schools were closed throughout the day and employees at the new Gulfport Biloxi Regional Airport were working in 40 degree temperatures as there was no heat in the building. Guy says more cold air is on the way tonight. Another hard freeze tonight. Today's weather caught many coastal communities unprepared as freezing rain and cold temperatures made life miserable for city workers. Early this morning, every bridge in South Mississippi was closed at one time or another, stranding and frustrating a lot of commuters. We have men standing the Pops Ferry Bridge, all the bridges in town, and all the icy spots. Even the simple job of sanding the bridges was made difficult because of the freezing rain. Are you cold today? Am I? Freezing cold. You cold? Well, cold enough, but it's a job that got to be done. We, got, we out here to do it. This is Marsha Hill. Driving along the coast today was like driving through an obstacle course. The roads and bridges became hazardous as the rain moved in, causing many area bridges to be closed. Those that were open proved very dangerous to pass over, and officials were advising motorists to stay off the roads. The bridges began icing over early this morning uh, throughout Harrison County. It was a constant battle for highway patrol officers as numerous accidents were reported and traffic was virtually at a standstill. I-10 to Mobile was closed this afternoon and for those vehicles that were moving, it was a slow process as cars and trucks were being guided over bridges one at a time at slow speeds. However, Guy says we may be in luck as the Weather Service has predicted a gradual warming trend for the coast throughout tonight and tomorrow. Freezing rain pelted much of the Gulf Coast last night, making life miserable for early morning commuters. As temperatures dipped into the mid-20s, Coastians bundled up against the chilling winds, a fact of life they're getting used to. Although not as bad as Monday, a few bridges iced up last night, and early this morning, work crews were busy spreading sand. The cold also kept every school and many businesses in South Mississippi closed for the fourth day. And downtown Gulfport looked more like a Sunday afternoon than a business day. According to Geis, a long stretch of severe cold weather could be devastating. It wouldn't take uh, many days like we had day before yesterday to literally paralyze the community. So all in all, the Gulf Coast seems to have made it through some of the coldest weather in recent memory in top form. This is Marvin McGraw, Newswatch 13.